Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be lunch ideas for kids. I'm actually gonna show you guys what I've been packing the kids' lunches, also to show you Scarlett and Harlow, and even a little bit of what Fletcher's been eating, and then I think I threw in some of me and Frank's lunch like one time in this video. So this video is mainly gonna be for kids, of course, and I do wanna say that I know it's towards the end of the school year. Um, your kids might already be out of school, or towards the end, or maybe your kids never went back to school. Either way, it doesn't matter because these are lunch ideas regardless if they're going to school or not. I just wanted to show you guys different ideas and actually Aria and Nolan, they're still in school till the middle of June. So I'm still having to pack their lunches. But regardless, I just wanted to share some ideas with you guys. I used to struggle a lot with packing the kids lunches and I would find new ideas or inspiration and share with you guys. And you guys have always found it really helpful. And I've always found it really helpful to see what other people are packing their kids. But before I show you guys what I packed them for this week, I wanna show you guys the their yum boxes because I've actually been using, I have the original, original yum box that I bought for Aria in preschool. I still have it. And this is where my love of yum boxes have started. I used to do these videos all the time on my other channel and I always get questions all the time about where you can find these. And before they just had it on their website, but now you can actually find these on Amazon. So I'll leave some links down below for you guys to check out. But since then I've kind of like built a collection of yum boxes so i have this one for nolan or aria and then i had gotten this one for harlow and she was in preschool but now i use it for aria speak of that little one right there and actually harlow is going to be going to preschool later this fall she just got accepted to their pre-k program so she'll be going to school with aria and nolan as well for the whole day so um i'll have to get her another one because the one i got for aria a long time ago is really really old you want pink one? Um, and then I actually just got one for Nolan. I had to throw his blue one away because he got a lot, of, he got a, such a good use out of it. Three years of preschool, a little bit of kindergarten, so I just got him this new one as well. But what I really like about the Yum Box is that they have different inserts, so they have also different sizes as well. So this one is considered a, I guess, the four compartment, but I also have the six compartment as well. You guys, I have so many of these things that's not even funny but we love them and use them and and the reason why we have so many is because every single time we buy one that comes with the insert which helps when you're like packing in between days and you have to wash them and everything so it just helps to have extra they also have bigger ones as well like adult size ones but we don't really use these as much I mean, maybe if we go on a picnic or something we'll, and we pack our own lunch we'll put it in these ones but just to show you guys they also have bigger ones as well so maybe for like middle school high school the only thing is these do not fit in like a standard size lunchbox whereas most of lunch boxes i've used and found you have to do the measurements and find out um like the pottery barn ones will this will fit in those but you might have to get like a bigger lunch box if you want to use the bigger ones and also a lot of people ask if they leak so when you do put these in here there's like this rubbery seal that seals up against the insert um, there has been a few times where yogurt has leaked out or um, or like juices from fruit like strawberries have leaked out that we've noticed it rarely happens but it does happen sometimes so I just want to say that um, I noticed with Nolan's older one it was doing that but the newer ones we haven't had any problems with. I know I'm making this intro really long, but I have a whole drawer in our kitchen, I'll show you guys, that is dedicated to the, the kids' lunch stuff. And I know I'm gonna get questions about like things that I put in their lunch, like the little cupcake liners and everything. So I just wanted to say this really quick. You can also find these on Amazon. It just keeps things um, a little bit more organized. Obviously you don't need these. You could just put everything right into the container. But I like to use these just to kind of like organize the food a little bit more, if that makes sense, or just kind of hold everything together. I got some of these little dipping uh, containers. I got these at Old Navy, but I'm gonna see if I can try to find some for you guys on Amazon, something similar. I have some cutters as well, some sandwich cutters. 
and like some different size uh, liners and everything. Some square and rectangle ones to fit in some of the places. I know these look small, but you can really put a lot, a lot of food in there. And I'll show you guys that, of course, in this video. But to spare you guys any more of this intro, I just wanted to go over that really quickly and I'll leave as much links as I can down below for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that it gives you ideas. And thank you so much for watching. Also, I forgot to mention these little food picks as well. They just add like a little cute touch to lunches. I haven't been putting it in their lunch lately because I have to remind them not to throw these away. But there are so many that come in a pack um, that are pretty inexpensive so even if you lose a few it's okay but um, I'll try to find some links for those as well we'll put this in like some fruit or cheese or like in, like little sandwiches I think it just adds a cute touch but also not completely necessary I think those are just like you want to be a little extra okay, so I just got done packing Aria and Nolan's lunch and they are both having the same exact thing they're having some veggie straws some strawberries we actually just got these today from a local farm they're probably the best hands down best strawberries i've ever had we actually got a i think what was it babe half a gallon of them yes we got a half a gallon of these strawberries and somebody told me or maybe i just saw somebody do this i think i think it was actually tiktok <laughs> i've learned so much from tiktok but they said to put strawberries and mason jars and they will last longer now i don't know if this is gonna work this is like an experiment i've already i'm already seeing a lot of condensation in there so that makes me worry that they're gonna go bad but we'll see we'll see what happens somebody said they could last up to two weeks they only last maybe up to a week in these um green saver containers so we'll see what happens they're also having some yogurt pretzels some mini Nilla wafers. If you guys have the Yum Box, these are the perfect size. Even um, the little mini Oreos will fit in there as well. And then the only thing Aria and Nolan have different with their lunches is she requested mayonnaise with her ham and cheese sandwich. So we have some honey ham, Colby Jack cheese, and bread and mayo for her. And then for Nolan, I gave him an extra slice of cheese in his sandwich. So I really had to mush it and stick it in there for a dip it. And then some baby carrots and, oh, the ranch for their baby carrots and these little containers. I can't remember where I got these. I feel like I got this at Old Navy. It's like really random. If you guys have been to Old Navy and they have like those random like lunch stuff before you get to the cashier, I think that's where I got it. So maybe you can find these or something similar to these on Amazon, but they're perfect for condiments, ranch, ketchup. Mm, I'm trying to think what else maybe you can put in here. Maybe like caramel for apples. You can pretty much put anything you want in there. But that is their lunch for tomorrow. This is Luna. The whole time I pack the kids' lunch. Got any more cheese? <laughs> can I have some more ham? You got any of that ham? Colby Jack. And mild cheddar. <laughs> when I was cutting the kids' crust off. You know how like there's... You know, the, the, ends. the ends with the ham and cheese. Yep, she got all the scraps. What about some peanut butter? Or bacon? <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Okay, Does totally. she have she had bacon, didn't she? She had she's had bacon, she's had ham, she's had cheese, cheese, and bread, bread a little eggs. bit of egg. <laughs> Girl, you've had it all. I was gonna have like a cute little overlay, you know, music of me putting this in there, but do, we're just gonna. Do, 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 stroke it. Perfect. I was just talking about the strawberries. If you guys are in South Carolina, go to Bush and Vine. They have the best peaches. Well, they're the best Let's peaches be and strawberries. We usually go there to pimp. Pimp? <laughs> to pimp? What are we? We go there to pick pumpkins and they have, oh, they have that really good uh, strawberry ice cream. Oh, that stuff is. It's so It's good. on point. And we never buy any of their produce, but I'm thinking maybe we should go there like maybe like once every two weeks and like get some produce. And get their produce because yeah, like fresh, fresh hopefully fruit. the strawberries last longer like Brittany was saying yeah, and then hopefully so. those peaches last a good while mm -hmm. because they are so good. If They're not, so soft. I'm gonna have to make, try to think of some kind of recipe with peaches or strawberries. <laughs> Peach cobbler. But we're on a strawberry track. shortcake. Yeah, we are on. <gasps> strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. We could add them to our yogurt or oh, yeah. toast or something. Oh, yeah. I'm in for strawberry shortcakes or peach cobblers. 
So I just got done making the girls some lunch. They're having a lunch pretty similar to Aria and Nolan. So they're both having a ham and cheese sandwich, strawberries. I gave them some of this coconut yogurt and some chocolate, I think they're called cocoa nibs. This is the yogurt that they really like. It's by So Delicious. And then here's the little uh, cocoa nibs that I put on top of it. And then they're having some cheddar veggie straws. And little man's having some peaches some cut up peaches and some string cheese. Do you like it? He eats better by himself. Huh? He eats better by himself. Yeah. I think he really likes the string cheese. I think that's what he's been eating the most. Is that good? Is that yummy? So I just got done packing the kids' lunches. They are having the same exact thing. I try to find things that they both like and sometimes I'll change some things here and there or swap things out but for the most part i try to keep it simple and get things that i know they're both gonna like and they're both gonna eat it makes it simpler for me as well um, but they're both having a peanut butter bagel a blueberry bagel i should say with peanut butter some sliced up cheese sticks salami jelly beans for a treat some mandarin oranges and they really like these hold on, let me show you these pretzel crisps they really like the garlic parmesan flavor but they have different ones as well i think they have like a buffalo and everything and then like a regular original pretzel one but those are really good but that is gonna be their lunch for tomorrow all right so for lunch tomorrow aria and nolan are having the same exact thing like i said in my previous clips it's just easier to pack them the same exact thing so they're both having some mandarin oranges with blueberries some crackers these are the club crackers and then i also put a laughing what are these called? I need to look up the exact name. So they're called the Laughing Cow Cheese. So they're just like these little cheese wedges. Pretty sure you guys probably already know what these are. But in case you don't, that's what they look like. And you can just peel them apart and put them on some crackers. So they could either put some of this cheese on their crackers or they can make their own like little Lunchable with pepperoni. And I have some cheddar and Colby Jack cheese mixed in there together some animal crackers and then for a little treat we got some fruit snacks all right guys so i forgot to film their lunch for yesterday i can't even remember what we had for lunch yesterday but today we are having some pesto chicken frank just got done grilling this and they're having their yogurt again frank put some little sprinkles on there that scarlet is just picking up <laughs> and eating <laughs> And she got into some chocolate graham crackers, so that's what's on her face. And then they're also having some strawberries. Harlow is having the same thing. How is it? Is that yummy? Is it good? So for lunch, we're having a little bit different, but we're both having some pesto chicken and some roasted squash and zucchini. I have some mushrooms with my lunch. Frank has some strawberries. So we gave some of the roasted squash to Fletcher as well. And I'm unsure if he likes it yet or not. <gasps> Did you say mama? Did you get that? Yeah. I don't think he said it on purpose, but he still said mama. <gasps> Is that yummy? I'm trying to get him to drink out of a sippy cup too. We have an advanced mm -hmm. Oh, I think he got a little bit. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. All right, so I got the last lunch clip for you guys. It is going to be Friday tomorrow. I was going to do the whole week, Monday through Friday, but I forgot to on Monday, so you guys are only getting four, but I hope you guys so far have gotten a lot of ideas. But Nolan and Aria are having the same exact thing per usual. They're both having a Uncrustable. This is the chocolate flavor hazelnut spread sandwich. So instead of jelly and peanut butter, it's got like kind of like Nutella in the middle of it. A cheese stick, some trail mix, some ham, and then I've cut up some apples and I just put just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of orange juice on it so that it will stay fresh until tomorrow so a little tip there you can just put a little bit of orange juice not too much because you don't want any to leak out but just enough to give it a little acid a little citrus on there and make sure it doesn't brown or go bad and so far i've had good luck with this because the kids usually eat all their apples no complaints whatsoever but that is what they are having for lunch tomorrow mm -hmm. 